All right, I'm here with Chris McKinney from Ray's Motorsports. Um, we are talking about uh, this new supercharger kit that yeah. Ray's has just released to the public or, or uh, almost written up and, and shown us here at the show. Yeah. So uh, when will this kit hit the market? January 1. Okay, that's exciting. Tell us a little bit about it. What makes this kit? Where did this kit come from? <laughs> So we spent the last couple years trying to design a turbo that worked and we've got seven, eight, nine different turbos on the shelf and all sorts of headers and intakes and boost boxes and it come down to we couldn't make a 450 turbo kit work at all altitudes unless we started messing with the cams and we knew the consumers weren't going to want to buy a turbo kit and the first thing on the instructions list is pull your motor out, put it on the stand, change the cams. So we kind of scratched our whole turbo kit idea and we went back to the drawing board and we do a lot of stuff with the jet ski world with superchargers. So we said, let's get a pro charger on this thing. And uh, we spent all year doing the supercharger. And the thing that really makes this work is the electronics. Uh, we can still have full boost control through our ECU with the recirculation valve. We can command our valve in any position we want through a real dynamic table. And it just really comes to life. We've got boost at idle no lag we can make a nice linear power curve and it just almost feels electric when you ride it i guess that's one of the big challenges between uh, in when super or turbocharging a single cylinder four stroke motor right very complicated okay yeah so and tell me where the belt drive comes in how why does the belt drive work so well so we first started out with a cog drive where it was one to one and the pro charger is like a wind up toy right so we chopped the throttle when we were breaking our drive shaft so we knew we had to design some slip into our belt system so we went back to a we went to a serpentine drive and when you chop the throttle our tensioner actually springs up and the belt will slip the second you get back into it bottom of the belt gets traction and bites it and goes spools back up okay cool um, and why drive this thing off the motor and not off the exhaust like a traditional turbo? So the second thing, you, second you start it, you're spinning the procharger and you've got boost on idle. Okay. You don't have to wait for exhaust pressure to come online to spool your turbo. And drivability can be a challenge too, right? It's all in the tuning. Okay. Well, what else can you tell us about the way this system works and why, why it works well? I think the biggest thing with supercharging anything, especially in a mountain world where you're going to have consumers riding it at sea level, you're going to have consumers riding it as high as 14,000 feet and kits getting shipped all over the world, is you got to have control of the boost. And with our ECU having full control through the air solenoid commanding our recirculation valve in any position we request, we can control this thing and target 90 horsepower no matter where the bike is. So. so it sounds like smart electronics are a big component of yes. why this kit works the way it does. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's gorgeous. Appreciate well, we're excited to uh, try this thing out when it hits the market. Uh, it's hats off to you for coming out with a product that is truly innovative. We've never seen anything like this. Now we're trying to raise the bar. So, way so to go. You guys will be some of the first guys that uh, get it out and get on the snow and see what you think. Awesome.